Alchemy. Healing Sound Alchemy. Healing Sound Alchemy. So how do we look? He's rolling. Uh -huh. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Devin Lockett. This is Biomed RX Radio and Biomed RX TV. And I am here with Andrea Sanz, Sanz and Nassim Murakami, uh, my lovely guests. And they represent Healing Sound Alchemy. And uh, so, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us, Devin. I'm yeah, so excited to be here, audience. Thank you. Pleasure. So here we are at the Biomed Rx Health Center, and uh, I'd like to know more about uh, Healing Sound Alchemy. What made you guys uh, decide to do this type of uh, therapy? Well, um, we met about a year ago, actually, at a Disclosure Festival, Mass Meditation Disclosure Festival. Disclosure. Yeah, yes. it's happened in LA, Los Angeles. For the first time everybody gathered to do a mass meditation, um, and we were both attracted to that, and we have a mutual friend who felt we should meet because we were both involved in doing projects in Colombia. Oh. She was involved in an organic farm and I had a whole vision of doing a retreat. So he's like, you have to meet. We met and then we started developing this idea of doing work in Colombia and doing retreat. And from that, this whole company actually was conceived. Yeah. We, that's what we, we found out that both we are artists, we're musicians, she's a singer and songwriter and so am I. And then we felt, we always felt that we wanted to do something with music and you know as a as a i've been um practicing reiki for you know, a couple of years and i always have this idea of i wanted to also use music as a healing tool and then uh, one day she also invited me to a sound bath in la it's done at the cathedral and she was uh, uh singing with her voice so and i felt that like I really felt that sound, the human voice, is also a powerful tool for healing. And then things just like connected, kind of connected the dots for us. Like, why don't we do a retreat together with using the sound healing? We wanted to do our own sound bath and sound healing. And I also have a background in uh, nutrition, and you know, so combining all different type of elements of healing modality. So we call it a healing healing sound alchemy. So we're alchemizing. Uh, sound and energy healing, like Reiki or pranic healing or uh, nutrition, because also the food contains vibration. So it's all about, you know, energy. Yes. So we're bringing different parts and the language also, mm -hmm. because it's, the language is also a sound exactly. and we tap into a different parts of our brain to kind of enhance the brain cognition, the learning skills. So everything is kind of like connected yes. you know, for us. Learning, learning new language, or the you know, learn to sing, or something like that. So we wanted to create that experience, you know, for a personal transformation and healing. So that's why we call it healing sound alchemy. We're alchemizing all this, you know, different, you know, tools. Yeah. And we're alchemists. So both of us, um, I know for myself, I'm a survivor of, of incest. Yeah. So I realized, thank you. I realized that <clears throat> the way out. It's through the power of art and through the power of music. Oh, absolutely. In my darkest hours, when I felt the most depressed, it was my voice that always brought me out. And I said, well, at least I have this voice to share. Nice. So I am in, I realized that I'm an alchemist mm -hmm. and transforming that venom into anti venom and dispersing the vials. And that's, yeah. that's what we're alchemizing, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's where we also connected on a personal level from what we experienced growing up. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just that the music has been really helpful for us um, dealing with our childhood trauma and all this you know, negative thing that we're exposed to. And music really empowered me and kept me, you know, a stay in the past. So I wasn't able to drift into, you know, some doing some crazy stuff like selling drugs or, you know, yeah. bad things, you know, yes. that you can easily, you know, uh, influence by, you know, negative environment. Mm -hmm. So I was able to focus on, you know, my dream and goals that the music really helped me and also the, a place for uh, like a comfort, you know, the music uplifts your spirit, no matter how sad Absolutely. you are, angry you music are. Music calms the savage beast. Yeah. yeah. So I know there was something to the music and I right. just didn't know back then, but now everything becomes very clear. And then by, you know, connecting with her and then we realize that like we can really help each other to also realize our personal uh, vision and our personal goals. 
So where do you guys practice? Where do you guys uh, work out of? We work out at, at our homes, uh -huh. certain studios that we have that we have access to as well. Mm -hmm. um, so different uh, spaces, and then we're looking to do events worldwide. We're looking at possibly doing something at Notre Dame in, in Paris. Um, yeah, that's we, we are place. basically, um, we're literally new. It's, this company just started a few months ago. Okay. And so we are um, planning our retreats. Our main retreats we are planning in Colombia, and also we're uh, we're also looking to do here and locally here in yes. California. Well, you're welcome to do it here. Oh yeah, yeah thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah, so we're just putting all together uh, our program oh, for sorry. retreat and also we're a sound concerts, so we can demonstrate um, the sound healing through our voices and also incorporating electronic music as well. Right. So, so it gives a little bit of a, a uniqueness for what we do. And there's, you know, so many sound bath and it's wonderful these things are, you know, coming to more like accepted yes. in today's world. You know, maybe we should try a, a field trip to the Integratron. Oh, oh yes, my gosh. we were talking about that yes. last night. I will, yes, I will yes. I will totally do. I'm, I'm so glad you sent me that link and you know because I was just watching that uh, movie Sonic Sonic Geometry. Sonic. Sonic. and then talked about the yeah. Tasso oh. who discovered oh yes the the, the formula you yes. know the so um about that the frequency one over T yeah yeah oh so you saw the video yeah yes. I wish that thing was fired up to work the way it was designed uh -huh, uh -huh. it's supposed to actually reverse the aging aging process. exactly wow that's powerful mm -hmm. but currently they are doing events once a once a month well, no, currently they're doing sound baths. Sound baths, right. They're doing sound baths. But, it, but, but if the way the Integratron was designed, it was actually supposed to be a thing filled with magnets. Oh, and, I see. Yes, and, and, and then once that top started, started spinning, it's supposed to spin because of the, the magnetic field of the Earth uh, in perpetuity. Oh, oh my gosh. To do with that. I know, right? <laughs> I think that, that will create like a vortex, a like vortex. a timeless zone that literally like, uh, reverse our aging and you know stops the time. <laughs> yes, and you, you know, be able that's to, powerful. Like, you can you can see, you know, the crucifixion or Caesar's soldiers marching or something like that. Mm -hmm. The future, the medicine of the future is sound. Yes, yes, yes. we've learned. So we've, as artists, as I'm a performing artist for a long time. I've been studying the classical vocal technique. I've been acting. I've been figure skating. Um, so I've always been involved in performing arts. And she met me when I was working in a in the sound in the sound bath in the sound healing symphony uh, mm -hmm. guy Douglas one of the pretty big uh, sound healer and I love the the opportunity to be able to meld the performing aspect mm -hmm. with the power of healing through, through your voice and through music. Now you guys met in Colombia? No, no. Here. Yeah. Right here. Okay. Yeah. Fest in Los Angeles. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But we Last both year. have a connection with Colombia. Yeah. So that was the that was like that the, was the, the yeah. basis, the foundation. And I've been right. doing a lot of events there. Um, shot my music video there. And Colombia has a big draw right now, so really? a lot of people are wanting to go and explore. And we have mm -hmm. connections also with with the Yanomamo, with the uh, and the, the indigenous people of La Sierra Nevada. So we want to do a lot of retreats and go back to ancient civilizations yes. and learn from them. Yes. Have, you know, yeah, the Kogi tribes have the message for us to really coexist with the nature. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that holds the key for us to like have abundance and the health and harmony with the planet Earth so we can really have prosperity and abundance and perfect health. And it's just the, that we are so off balance. We're so, yes. you know, so for you yeah, off trail from the nature. So now it's time to kind of get back into it. And with the, you know, use of technology in the right way mm -hmm. um, and the science and everything kind of like falling into place now that we have all this knowledge from the past. Mm -hmm. So um, also with, with our sound healing, we're using a lot of ancient instruments because the ancient instruments are already uh, tuned in a specific frequency and harmonics yes. that is a little bit different from a digital music, which is kind of altered. Yes. So we talk about the frequency 432 kilohertz, which is like the natural um, harmonics that is really beneficial to our body. And but someone, kilohertz. yeah, yeah there's well. a different kilohertz, uh, the frequencies that resonate with our chakra system mm -hmm. and also helps to stay in that that the brain will continue to release serotonin and dopamine in, in like happy state because 
we're, we're designed to stay in a happy state and joyful state yes. so we can really thrive. Mm -hmm. But once we have a lot of uh, negative emotions like fear, anxiety, that's that's where the disease starts. It's like become yes. this ease. I say separate the word this ease. ease. It's not easy. Yes. You're it's hardship, ease. too much suffering, too much hardship. Yes. That is kind of like you turn away from our true nature. So everything becomes unbalanced, everything becomes uh, like a survival mode. It's mm -hmm. like hard to so like we start, you know, having war with each other and not like sharing the resources or you know right. uh, yeah. we're in fight or light mode exactly. with each other all the time exactly so i really think the sound the, the music and sounds hold the key so that's yes. why Ed, edgar casey um are you yeah. casey. <laughs> <laughs> he's known in a holistic health world but so he says the the future you know medicine is a sound is a future medicine mm -hmm. So like that is so true because sound you don't need to have any explanation right it's just when you're universal, universal close to the yeah. sound, yeah, universal, universal language, language. yes, yes. There's no sound. translation involved yeah, yeah. you just get it you, you need 60 percent water so it yeah. enters you on a cellular level and and cures. exactly yes yeah and so it puts, it's you, puts you into that state of homeostasis mm -hmm. quickly you know officially yeah. and, and and we can share it among other nations which is what I want to do what part we want to do. Yeah, yeah, it unifies us as Yeah, people. it's so important. Yeah. I feel like a great responsibility to do that, to be a light force on, on a global level. Yeah. That's very interesting. You know, I would like to try you guys' uh, technique. Yeah, we have an event yeah. coming up soon. Yes, so definitely. We'll, we'll be yeah. hosting that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a website? Yes. Yes. Please let everyone know. Healingsoundalchemy.com. Um, my personal website, andreapscience.com, and the same person at nasimurakami.com. Right. <laughs> great, great. Now, uh, we were just talking earlier about, uh, are we, gonna, we were just talking earlier about um, where we are in the planet, right? right? That we're entering, uh, it's my belief that we're entering the age of Aquarius. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, from what I understand, the vibration of the planet is raising. Yes. And we are a part of the planet. Yes. As much as the grass and the trees and everything else. Absolutely. And so our vibration is going to increase or is increasing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, how do you think you guys are uh, going to help with that transformation into the next phase? Because we know, we were talking earlier about how the uh, heavy metals in our environment, heavy metal mm -hmm. toxins, are blocking the pineal gland, mm -hmm. and uh, that's you know that's 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 keeping us from reaching our full potential. Exactly. Exactly. Well, sound uh, is a huge part of it. Um, you know, we're, we're as you know, we're very passionate about music and sound, and that is the key. That is our specific talent to be that light force through sound. Mm -hmm. I mean, to keep ourselves elevated, to keep ourselves in check. Yeah. Um, and help others in that way. Yes. So we are being the change that we want to see. You know? Right. Absolutely. We have to like, you know, um, demonstrate our own through our life, and then it's just it will kind of like creates a domino effect. So my my personal mission is to make like the he sound healing the the sound as a medicine a mainstream thing, um, so that everybody can access and everybody's educated and. You know, by spreading their awareness, so people have more opportunity to, to you know, um, try sound healing, sound therapy, sound bath, and really, because this music and sound really helps us to expand our consciousness. Mm -hmm. So what happened is the earth frequency is changing. So as our body is changing, but everybody's different uh, pace. Yes. Some people are, you know, uh, ascending faster. Some people are kind of still stuck in that lower vibration or still kind of you know having difficulty elevating so the more we you know sh uh, share the awareness of how beneficial the sound healing is to raise our vibration so people can you know um, gradually you know they, reach, reach a point where we're, we're, we're reaching uh, we're having harmony right? exactly. yes exactly harmony between human beings. yes that's exactly what's going to create the better world for us better health and yes. everybody to get along and create that, you know, really uh, 
like a paradise again. You know, it's yeah. possible. It's totally yeah. possible. The end of war, the end yes. of strife, the end of mm -hmm. all of this. Yeah. Sickness and disease. Sickness, yeah. Yes, I really believe that um, music and sound can cure disease and just bring us into balance. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, uh, well, I wanted to share quickly something about um, there is an experiment. Um, it's called Water Experiment by Dr. Emoto Masaru. I don't know if you heard about it. He's a Japanese uh, scientist. So he did this test um, of having a water in two separate glass. And when he sends out like the beautiful prayers, like I love you in gratitude yes. versus the other water with like, I hate you, you die, like all this anger and negative oh, wow. thoughts. So he sent it out and man, uh, look into the microscopic, you know, lens, like a special equipment. And he will see that the water has a, like the molecules and then forms into crystal. Mm -hmm. So that energy we emit, the literary, the, uh, the positive one form a beautiful shape of crystal, like you see, like a snowflake, mm -hmm. really beautiful. Mm -hmm. But anything that negative, it looks like ugly, really? uh, ugly shapes. Oh, so, goodness. wow, because our body is made up of like 70% or more water. water. Yeah. So what happened is the water transmits that. Anything that we put out in the word or energy or thought mm -hmm. that's negative, it starts destroying ourselves. It starts to create that disease, the sickness, the out of balance. Um, that's also connected to our brain. The brain will uh, uh, start to have this uh, neuron path that's destructive yeah. versus something you send out beautiful thoughts, prayers, the beautiful sound, the positive energy. The brain will create a new neuron path. Love. Right? Love. It's the most powerful exactly. Yes. Love is the yeah. best medicine. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's the experiment. It's almost like um, kind of esoteric in a way. We cannot see or touch, but then he, he did this experiment so we can see in our eyes because a lot of people are skeptics, right? We don't believe until we see it. Right. So now that proves that the energy is there. Energy yes. is real. And, so, and, and your word is a projection of your spiritual energy. Uh, yes, so, exactly. It's protect of your attention. Right, right. So I became really mindful about what language I speak you know, like I, I used to live in New York and like everybody's like using cuss words all the time. Uh -huh. like, <laughs> we just do it jokingly, but like you don't realize what that words hold that certain energy and vibration. Yeah. So, oh wow, I don't want to say that. Like, I don't want to talk down to myself. Oh, or yes. I don't want to send someone, you know, like call names and stuff right. because you're meant to send someone, but then you're also listening to yourself. Right. So like, it's also destroying you. Right. Like, road okay. raging a lot. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. It's like faking your face. Right. It's causing you a lot of harm. Yeah. Or like we talked about just speaking different languages, right? Yeah. Changes. Changes Absolutely. our energy. Changes the way we exactly. relate to others. Right. That's why uh, Hawaiian practice is like Ho'oponopono, like a forget forgiveness, like the, um, they have this methods to heal ourselves through like forgiveness. So they have like the almost like a ritual thing that they speak certain things like the, to forgive and I love you and I kind of forget what it is exactly. But so uh, forgiveness is the most also important part yeah. because when you hold that energy, the anger, the negativity, we're not releasing it. That is going to start destroying us. Yes, you know, and it, so does. it does. It does. It does. So, so it like, yeah, anger. It exactly. It, and it and ages us, it makes us look ugly. Yes, <laughs> you know, does. it's unattractive. The most liberating thing is to forgive. To forgive, yeah, especially yes. those who you may hate the most, or yes, letting go and just you know start resonating love frequency. <laughs> so I'll put that out there right now, all of you, and you know who you are. I forgive you. I you. I you. <laughs> yeah. you know who you are. <laughs> yeah, it's so liberating. It's kind of yes. something. I need a more Johnny. Um, speaking of fear, for instance, she was uh, a woman who feared having cancer her entire life. I don't know if you're familiar with her story. Her father died of cancer. Her best friend died of cancer, and she said, "I'm going to die of cancer. I'm going to get cancer." And sure enough, guess what happened? So oh she had goodness. tumors the size of lemons all over her body. She, she went into herself. Mm -hmm. She died, went to the other side, and her father and her best friend told her, you actually don't belong in this realm. And she said, well, what do you mean? I died. I what do you mean? Did you see my body? <laughs> and they back. said, no, you don't belong here. And in that realm, she realized that it's fear that kills. She's 
back on Earth, oh. wrote a little piece on a message board. Wayne Dyer, who I'm sure you know, he found her on a message board and said, Anita, come with me and tour all over the world. She's that's all that's the reason she is here. So it's people like those, for instance, mm -hmm. who are teaching us that fear and lack of forgiveness is what's slowly killing us. And that's yes. the basis oh, yes. of who, who, what we're trying to do through, oh, yes. through sound mm -hmm. and music, mm -hmm. is to create that, that love. Exactly. That's Especially true. today, people are really struggling with tremendous stress. Mm -hmm. The stress with uh, a lot of pressure, the finances, the economy, and all these things, the, something that outside of us affecting us in a tremendous way and so that pressure is like something you cannot medicate or put band-aids to it no. so that's where i feel like this, the music the power of sound um really helps like yeah. uplift something that you cannot really i mean you can take a depression pills forever but is it really curing no it's just covering up you're just learning to manage but that's yes. not really solving the problem and you're you're Putting toxins into your liver, exactly. You're creating Side a effects. dependency. If you go also off the drug, you might become suicidal. Yes. There's a lot of imbalances. So it's 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 you know what's actually already giving from the ancient time mm -hmm. from the Sumerians. You know when the the planet Earth started, yes. the music was already there. It was. It's not something that we discovered or we invented. It, it was already there. And you know, when you look at the Bible, you know, the first thing is that God spoke it like w w the w there was a word, right? Yes, so the word means music to us, you know, word is sound, yes. So, sound cr created everything. So, the you know, there's this theory about how pyramid was created, everything was created through sound, vibration, vibration, the stones like uh, yeah, Tibetan monks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, They're able to levitate stones with exactly, they can sound. cut the any, any you know, the uh, hardest rocks or. With the the vibration, yeah, music. right, Pretty exactly. Much. So I think you know there are so many ways that we can use the sound, the vibration, the frequency to even cure cancer or cure oh, any type of ailment. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what people need to remember is that we are divine creatures. We are made from love, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So we have all the answers within. We have all the medications they need within. I don't know if you have a medica uh, meditation practice. Uh, well, I do, but I use neurofeedback. <laughs> I use electronic uh, electronic yeah. assistance. Mm -hmm. I meditate every day, mm -hmm. uh, in the morning and in the evening. I go to bed and I sing into this yeah. and seem and we incorporate that in, into our practice and into our events. Um, nice. And that in those moments, it's when I receive the, the highest love and the most beautiful communication with my yes. higher power. And I know that everything that I need is within, you know, all the answers. So that's for me, that's very important for people to really, really understand that so that you don't think it's outside of yourself or I can't do it. You have everything uh, you possibly yes, need. Yes, yes, you know? yes, it's with it's them, we can tap into that. The more you become aligned and balanced, you're connected to the source mm -hmm. because we have all kinds of blockages. Mm -hmm. So once you clear that out, you, you can, you become really peaceful. There is nothing to seek outside or follow mm -hmm. someone. But every answer will just come within the inspiration, the knowing, you know, the instantaneous knowing. And so we know what to do to cure ourselves, cure ourselves, what to not to eat, what to eat, you know, what, you know, all this, because there are all the resources around us. So once we can quiet our minds and like tap into ourselves, here within the gap, yeah, yes. the answer is always there. Very good. Well, we're going to take a break and, uh, Check out the uh, camera and everything, and then we'll be back um, after these messages. Cool. So we ran out once, right? Mm -hmm. And we, but it was still going just now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll dump that into I feel another laptop. No, I just dump it into the into the computer. Oh no 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 no! Leave it in there, please. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do not take it out. Yeah, I don't have a reader for those. I used to, mm -hmm. but I don't. So I just I just put a camera in. And just do it. Yeah, I lost my little reader when you plugged a little yeah. disc into it. Yeah. yeah. This is good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I love this. Which one? Oh, the trans mechanical. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is that so connected? <laughs> she is so like connected. Artists, to, to save so many kind of everything else. Yeah. 
very involved in the arts because the artists were self-selected for being able to journey into the unknown. If the artist cannot find the way, then the way cannot be found. Yeah. The artist has a really big responsibility. When I look at like a John Lennon, mm -hmm. you know, like he really like, he, it's like, he represents that yeah. because he really like fought for world peace and you know, back in the 60s and um you know and he was killed without message to, yeah exactly exactly but his music was so powerful at the time uh, even today oh my God. i get chills i can imagine the song timeless. timeless yeah it's timeless right and it's just that the whole love is emanating from the music and the peace, the passion, you know, wanted to have peace on here on earth. I love that song. It's just like, it just always makes me cry. <laughs> Yesterday. Yeah. Beautiful. Yesterday. Yeah. And no, imagine. Imagine. Oh, it always makes me cry. <laughs> I think everybody. I don't think yeah, it's so on earth that music. doesn't feel that. Yeah. And yeah, for instance, his music is international. Exactly. You know, even though it is in English, it's oh, become yeah. completely international. Yes. And everyone feels it like the whole, everybody could be holding hands, the entire world could be holding hands. Yeah. I've always envisioned that. Like, it's I such want to visualize <gasps> his music, you know, because he's written the lyric really tell you, imagine the all people, people living in peace. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah, it's. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so we're history repeats itself. Mm -hmm. it doesn't repeat itself, but it does rhyme. So here right. we are, you know, in good ways and in yeah. bad ways. So here we are yeah, it's, raising it's that, that cycle again. Yeah. Exactly. It's like a fashion repeats itself. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you don't need to get new clothes. <laughs> <laughs> because it's gonna it's gonna be in fashion, right? Yeah. <laughs> How about hairstyle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, I such a Yeah, this is really good stuff. Uh, oh, my cousin Jackie's watching. Oh, <laughs> go Jackie. And my niece. And John Sabaha, very good actor. And an acting coach, acting instructor. Mm. Oh. So many cool people in LA, right? Oh, yeah. That's, it's hard to <laughs> leave because it's, of that. Yeah. The connections and the potential to launch, like the, the, the launching pad mm -hmm. that you can create. And there's so much traffic from all over the world. Yeah. People coming in, new people coming, going on. Gems of me. I've, I've been teaching Spanish for a while. I've been teaching. I teach a lot of uh, high vibrational people and a lot of uh, talk to very big movie stars and um, nice. a few studio heads. And I mean, just like the potential to like be in in their circle for a little bit and to learn about how they've got to that level. And it's all through language. Yes. It's just incredible. And then picking up on their energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love it. You know, yeah. I just like being with you guys. I love the energy that I'm That's how I felt. Yeah, it's yeah. mutual. It's we're, we're mirrors, yes. you know? Yeah. I mean, I see your reflection. We attracted to manifest this. Yes. You know, because Absolutely. that's something we put it out in the universe and something you put it out in the universe, and there was a vibrational match. <clears throat> so this manifested it. Yeah, let's keep it growing. Yes, please. Yes, yeah, let's keep yeah it we. Growing. That's yeah. all we want to do yeah. is to keep this the vibration high. That is, yeah. our, that's seriously our mission. Yeah, it's all we care about. Like, you guys should join my chamber, my chapter of the holistic chamber as well, because I need some cool people. I don't have any members of my chapter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
Oh, I love this. Chamber. Chamber. Yeah, this work is coming up. Yeah. Holistic yeah. Chamber of Sound. You're, awesome. you're actually thinking of a name. Really? That's cool. I, yeah, because we're, we're going to be working on an album. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So it takes a while to dump the footage. Oh, no problem. That's another thing about California too, is it's such a progressive state. Yeah. It's always been progressive. Yeah. It's always something here. here. They yeah. see a vision, they have a vision. Yeah. And it it continues to be that way. Mm -hmm. So it's it's hard to to leave when you see it when you have such a vision. You know? Yeah, exactly. But it's imperative to leave as well. Right, right. To kind of and like to share from here to you know spread in the exactly. parts of the world that need it. Things starts here and then we carry that message around the world. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> So did you see this email? Oh, I think I saw it. Yeah, you yeah, we talked about it. Oh, the, the one Sarah sent mm -hmm. us? Yes, yes. Yeah, oh, that's the other Sarah, your friend of yours sent us. It's amazing that that's like, she keeps yes. just open doors for us. Yeah, she keeps wanting to help. Wow. And you just, I visualize it. I've been seeing it for a long time, for many years. Yeah, like, visualizing happen? is so powerful. Oh, yeah. I, I've proven it. It started. I started about four years ago, five mm -hmm. years ago, with uh, Flow Data, and I saw the whole thing. I saw like, the whole wow. vision, and, and I saw the phone call. I saw when I was going to get the call. And I saw the details, and then there I was in Hawaii. Wow. Kauai. And and so living and interacting and mm -hmm. having these kind of conversations. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's really powerful stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I've been vision envisioning this for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always saw a vision about like, like performing somewhere really big too. Always, like since I was a teenager. Really? Yeah. 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 I always have that. I, I always like, always have this gears around me. Yeah, I, yeah, me too. I was doing all this stuff. Like a little it's nerd. Really. Like, it's yeah. so funny. <laughs> yeah. And it's really fun when you have like a taste of it. Like when I was, I think I was in a key theater and. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it's just I was dancing samba and then she's like be part of it and then here you are so yeah when you, the time the mind is just is so powerful to be able to your mind what's so crazy is that your mind doesn't know the difference between what you're envisioning here mm -hmm. and the reality out here it doesn't mm -hmm. know the difference so if you keep thinking about it it'll pull in the yes. energy it'll pull in those people it'll pull in those opportunities that is and then it happens in yeah. this realm yeah because it doesn't Right, right, right. Yeah. So only thinking about what you want is yes. the key that I've learned about a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's so powerful. I that think a lot of people forget that and they complain. And they, you know, mm. I I really feel bad. Yeah, because the disbeliefs kicks in. Mm -hmm. The fear. Yeah, fear kicks in, or yeah, sometimes fear of success, procrastination. Like it, Mary yeah, sabotage, self-sabotage and 
that's often. all rooted to fear, right? Right. So once you're able to eliminate, actually, if you put a purpose on the why that needs to happen, that's even more powerful. Mm -hmm. Like there's purpose behind, there's a mission, like, oh, I, this needs to happen because I wanted to serve, I wanted to make a difference, mm -hmm. instead of just a personal satisfaction. So like you have like the, 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 the real reason why factor is like makes you cry. That's like the strongest emotion, emotion like really compelled emotion behind it. Yeah. How, is, how are you feeling with the I'm still very relaxed. It's funny, I don't. I feel like <laughs> full of lots of energy. Full of energy. I oh, feel cool. like I, uh, mm. almost like I had coffee. Really? A little, wow. bit, a little bit. Like I, I did have tea. So mm. I don't know if that's a maybe a tea. Uh, maybe mag magnified though. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that would be interesting if we can have a visit in time. I've been, I was, that was like, remember I, I sent you, you that message last night? I said, yeah. we have to go. I know. We and then I was watching go. this movie, and then the Van Tassen came out because he's the one that it, it, uh, created the integrity. And mom said that we look like terrestrial angels. <laughs> That's the image exactly I want people to, to get, you know? This is a really beautiful yeah. image. I love that. I want more images like that with yes. blue in the background. Mm -hmm. We'll get more. Yeah. So we're like in a in a, a place of developing our branding. I like this a lot. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to you know, get us a picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to take that field trip soon. We do. Mm -hmm. You know, whenever. You you're ready, let me know because okay. yes. um, I, I want to go and my, oh, my did kids Did you go are... there at the sound bath like last week? No, I didn't. I was oh. waiting to schedule with you. <laughs> oh, so sorry. That's okay. What, what happened? We had a, some some event that weekend, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. That, that was our photo shoot. Last weekend, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you guys will be available because okay. it's a little further east than here, so we can meet Josh up here. Yeah, let's and do then, it. And then drive in my car and mm -hmm. go and do a sound bath. I think she. I think it's thirty-five bucks a person. Okay. I saw okay. something on the website because I was on it last night, and they do one a month. This this event that starts at twelve p.m. and ends at seven p.m. and really? it's one hundred and forty-four dollars, but it's this whole thing. Really? Yeah. really? Like a seminar workshop. A little bit of everything they give you some dinner um wow. you have a sound bath there's really probably, probably yeah 144 per person yeah okay Isn't that 144 that's that's oh. that number yeah they did they did that on purpose it's that number yeah it's uh, it's a magical number a gross it's a dozen dozen right yeah yeah 100 and 144 people will be before before the apocalypse, 144 people will be chosen. Really? That was that was says in the Bible, but there's so many other interpretation of like 144. But yeah. it goes it goes so hand in hand with the 432, the basis, the foundation of life, basically. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sonic geometry. Definitely watch that film. Sonic geometry. Sonic. Yeah, it's on the YouTube. Yeah, what's on it? Like okay. 30 minutes. Documentary or something. So, you guys want some water before we decide? Yeah, please. Yeah, let's Thank do that. You. Let's do I love that stuff. I actually have my cup. Towards oh, me. you still? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, I picked it up. Thank you. Yeah, your use cup the same is right one. here. But use the same one. Okay. okay. That's not okay. too wasteful. You don't have yours, right? I had it right here, but it's. it's no, I'll put it up here. <laughs> I'll put yours up here. Okay, I'll use that so we don't waste it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, just let me know when you guys are ready. I'll, I'll definitely. Or if you want to do the monthly event, okay, you can do that. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, I was, I was thinking we, we ought yeah. to do that. Let's do that. Thank I you, want sir. to kiss. Guys, <laughs> I just made <laughs> my. <laughs> Mm 
the placebo effect is also another thing that, that mm. um, Dispensa talks about. Mm. Like even just in this moment, like I, I know it doesn't have the DM, DMSO, the DMSO? But I'm yeah. pretending it does. But it feels like it does. Yeah. I could definitely give you some. <laughs> some more. So oh, I love some more. <laughs> yeah. I love to. <laughs> yeah. I, I do that with with alcohol too. Yeah. Like when I, I stopped drinking hard liquor, mm -hmm. and I would just pretend pretend that it was it was like well uh, seltzer and a little bit of lemon. Mm -hmm. I'm just like I'm having yeah. vodka, and I would get fake drunk. Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't need all those substances. You don't need all that bad bad and all that poison. You can just mm -hmm. pretend, you know, and have and, and utilize your body. And, uh, and all its all its with magic. Your mind. Yeah, with your mind. It's just so powerful. The power of the mind. Yeah. Thank you. For well, those of you in Facebook land, we're having. Oh, we're still on the Facebook. Yeah. Oh, we're still yeah. Live. <laughs> oh my gosh! I thought we took a break. No. Oh, we no, we had on. the real film. We're, oh, we're, we're having dimethyl sulfoxide or DMSO. Powerful. That's delicious. Yes. Actually. <laughs> yeah, it I love it. Yeah. It is good. It's a tree sap product, uh, solvent, and uh, it calms the entire nervous system, uh, it heals a number of things, it is a muscle relaxant, um, it heals um, mental retardation, alcoholism, drug addiction, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, mental and emotional conditions, and uh, it's just good for you. It passes the blood-brain barrier, um, whatever you mix it with, it'll bind to, so it helps you to digest things. I drip it on my vitamins oh, wow. in the morning. Oh, it's mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. DMSO. DMSO. Okay. We we'll would be actually so utilizing fun. this. In yeah. Our oh, you would love it. Yes. Yeah. It this work. is part of alchemy. You know, yes. It's alchemical integration. And preparing the body. Yes. It's effective. Mm. Yeah. It immediately feels really good. Really good, huh? Yes. Good and relaxing. Mm -hmm. Oh, Marco, how's it going? <laughs> we have an audience all the way from Switzerland. Oh, oh wow. Cool. Bonjour, Marco. <laughs> or maybe it's bonsoir, right? At this ah, time bonsoir, we oui. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking back to both. Oh, cool. Oh, all right. Um, great. So we're looking good. and uh, this Feeling great. Feeling great. <laughs> <laughs> This is a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you for having us. Thanks for coming. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. And, and this is our first uh, interview on our new format. Yeah, yeah we're honored. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, great, great. Tell us more about um, you guys' individual, you know, adventures in holistic health. And, mm -hmm. uh, um, well, for me, I've like I, I, like I mentioned earlier, I've been performing for a long time since I was a little girl and studying the, the classical techniques of voice and figure skating and acting. And I always knew that the power of sound and the power of music was powerful. It helped yes. me in my depression and I knew that I needed to do something more with it and I envisioned healing people. I actually studied psychology, I would be in psychology. But I knew I wanted to do something with the arts. Really? And so it just found me, actually. I started nice. working in. You have a BA in psychology. I do. I yeah. love psychology. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I found me, I started working with, with uh, Guy Douglas and Simona um, with, um, on their venture in sound healing, and I'm singing in their sound healing symphony. And I, didn't, I wasn't seeking them, it, 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 it sought me out. Okay. And then I met Nassim, and we started this beautiful experience, this beautiful project, this beautiful company. And I knew that that this is it. This is the answer, <laughs> you know. Let's give them the company and the websites again. Yes, yeah. uh, healingsoundalchemy.com. Healingsoundalchemy.com. My personal website is andreapscience.com. And my personal is nasimurakami.com. We also have a Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash healingsoundalchemy. So if you can like and follow us. We post our updates there. We post our videos about our rehearse, rehearsals and photo. We just did some photo shoots. So we'll, we'll like have some events on the and treats. Nice. Updates about so. some old, upcoming workshops and cool. retreats. On yeah. Facebook? Yes. Yeah. So I'll share this video with you. Oh, oh great. That's lovely. Yeah. 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 So my personal uh, journey for getting to this point was um, um, 
yes, music was always part of my life since I was very young. And, you know, I went through various, you know, um, trauma, like a childhood trauma, a fortunate thing. And I suffered pretty much like a lot of depression from like, I was suicidal since nine years old. I growing up in Japan and different culture and I don't look like Japanese so I was target targeted for bullying so pretty much bullying for my whole school life wow. so you know when you go through that like physically emotionally you know so when you go through a lot of abuse and it really help become like you become difficult learning you know mm -hmm. learning and that also strips away your confidence and self-esteem so, you know, I was kind of like set up like that, but there was a purpose for it. You know, at, at one point I had to make sense why I went through all this hardship and difficulties. And now I was able to transmute that, transmute that experience into, you know, uh, as a healer. So I discovered Reiki healing, which is also the Reiki was discovered by a Japanese monk. So, you know, because I, I was from Japan, so I was automatically kind of curious and interested about that energy healing yes. and then oh wow and i get it because i'm a musician i always like deal with the sound waves you know in the studio when i use my music software so easy to understand everything is energy everything is vibration so energy healing totally like connected the dots with me and then so the uh, first person i actually uh, used my reiki was my mother she she was diagnosed with cancer so uh, although she was in japan I was able to send her a distance healing. Wow. Because energy really? is not bound by time no, or distance. Space. Yes. It's like a, our thoughts, right? How we manifest things into reality. It's not bound by time. It's just happened with the energetic frequency and you know, it's it's just it's some some kind of magical way, right? It happens, right? Mm -hmm. When there's a frequency and um a match happens, you know? Yes. Like this radio manifested because yeah. we sent out something in the universe and there was a vibrational match so everything is like a match that it you know brings into life brings into fruit reunion That's yeah to happen exactly yeah. so um yeah when i start practicing reiki and then oh wow and then the more and more it become clear about my mission so now i went through all this horrific experience as a child and growing up young adult also i, I went through a, a domestic violence with my previous marriage so I had a lot of trauma with the relationship you know trusting other men when you go through the abusive relationship um, actually I went through like a near-death experience twice <laughs> yeah so it was a lot of trauma within me yes. and I could be totally you know give up my life so many times that I thought I was giving up but now I feel like okay this is my mission now I'm here to really help other people mm -hmm. so the music really helped me to keep me positive and also, um, you know, it's just keep me in a good space, good, good yes. place. So, and then I meet, you know, the right person and then share the vision like Andrea. And like, wow, this start really makes sense. This is it. Like, this is what I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm here to do, you know? Yeah. And then all the things, other resources, other people come to help realize our personal goal as well as our company's mission yeah. to help others, to serve others, to help with this, you know, raising vibration and, you know, That's your, uh, your Bushido? <laughs> hmm? Bushido. Bushido yes. Oh, yeah, in Japan, yes, it's like a samurai. Yeah, <laughs> your mission. Uh -huh. yeah. And the brain is so powerful that when you start visualizing anything in your mind's eye, it doesn't know the difference of whether it's here or in that reality. And then it starts bringing in other people. It starts bringing in energy. So it's attracting your network. And then there you are. You have exactly what you've been envisioning. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. That's pretty much how we met. And how yeah. That's of, the magic that's happening. Right. Exactly. That's yeah. Exactly. That's why sometimes we go through different, because it's not always a good thing, right? The light has ups and down, right? yes. a lot of challenges, because those things are happening for us to grow, you know, so for blessings. And, uh, but it's, it's kind of like a, a, a it's kind of like being tricked in a way, but we need to overcome that. Always maintain that that we see ourselves in success, or we see us ourselves prospering. Yes. We're seeing ourselves, so we have to always visualize we're there instead of caught up in that, you know, challenges and wall 
and then giving to power, giving our power away to fear or you know have a disbelief. And so that creates the energy, you know, sends out the energy that you will experience more of that, more of the negativity because you're stuck in that. Whatever you concentrate on expands. Exactly, exactly. exactly. Expand. That's yes. the law of attraction, right? The more you focus on that, that's what's going to happen, exactly. whether it's good or bad. Mm. So choose good, right? Exactly. <laughs> We don't want to have bad things keep happening to us. No. Yeah. So the right. sound music kind of like it's like a meditation. It breaks the pattern. So when people are stuck with this negative, it's like almost like a, a habit. You know, it's like we something okay, even if it's uncomfortable, we're so used to it, we're gonna start thinking about it over and over because that's what we know. It's easier for us to stay in comfort zone and trying something new. Yes. And that's this tremendous fear to some people. Even if it's painful, if it's familiar, we're going to keep doing it. Exactly. We're settling for something we're familiar instead of expanding to move up to something unknown. That could be an amazing thing, but because of the fear, we're trapped. And then we're just repeating that same patterns, right? Destructive uh, definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over. <laughs> right. So you're not expecting a different result, yeah. right? <laughs> Yeah. So that gives us another good point. We we touched on forgiveness earlier. Yes, we and did. And now gratitude. Yes. Gratitude. Gratitude. And you all you know who you are as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Exactly. Thank you for fulfilling your contract with me. Uh, whether it was a positive or a negative experience, I thank you because it brought me to where I am today. Yeah. Exactly. It can change you we in two seconds. Yes. Just being grateful. Totally just be grateful. Some great gratitude and just be thankful for what for we have. Breathing for our Start audience. to elevate our vibration. Yeah. Yes. So just going back to the, what I was explaining before, this, like a sound healing is almost like a, it's the same as like a meditation. So it breaks the cycle of our thought, our mind scatters, like thousands of thoughts go through. That's yes. why meditation is important to like still our mind and just eliminate that all this to toxic thoughts and have like a state of like uh, um, uh, no mind zone. If you practice meditation enough, exactly. you're able to have control of your thoughts. So then you're able to bring in more positive thing, more inspiration. You're connected to the source. Yes. So instead of stuck in that negative place, you're able to change. You're able to re re rewrite your brain a neuron path. So a lot of benefits of meditation, you know, breath work and then sound healing because they all do the same thing. It's interrupt whatever. You, you might have a suicidal thoughts that it will instantly interrupt that thoughts when you're exposed to the music or meditation or breath work, energy healing. And it's cellular like that. level. That you're yeah. Learning. It's being focused. Yeah, because our DNA is designed to survive. It, it's designed to thrive. But when we're in that place of negativity, it starts to self-destruct self -destruct. Exactly. You know, in order to protect other parts of the body. It's like a, the, the me mechanism. You know, there's something become really harmful and toxic. That's what the cancer is, right? Trying to protect the rest of the body, but that part become really harmful. So that's why it turned into a tumor. Mm -hmm. So it's like the survival mechanism but we don't need to like go through the suffering when we have all these tools exactly yes. yeah to yeah. elevate our being life force helping each other you know as you, you need to unite speaking mm -hmm. of tools you played a whistle earlier. oh yes, <laughs> yes. yes. i yes. could definitely use another hit of absolutely <laughs> well, let me go get it <laughs> she's got a whistle that plays a frequency or a number of frequencies right yeah a, a combination of it's frequencies. two pitches Two pitches. It cleans your pineal gland. Cleans your pineal. So, everybody ready? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Let me start again because the two pitches aren't there. Turn it around. That feels good. Wow. Wow. Oh, that felt amazing. Good. Oh, 
some people may not understand what the pineal gland is. It's a uh, it's located in right by our, our forehead, like a center of the you know, right. Yeah. Yes. So this is a place we receive like the uh, intuition. So it's a, it's a, it's called third eye. It's like a different invisible you know mind's eye. So it's connected to the psychic realm and then different dimensions. It's the only organ that looks like the, the, the life, the flower. Yeah. It feels really good. Yeah. So yeah. that helps to cleanse and open it up. I don't know if it sounds the same on the, on through your computer, uh, but you guys. I, should I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we should hear what we hear here. Well, we'll be utilizing this in our in right, sound right. box and our sound. Yeah, our concerts as well. So yes. certain, certain instruments like a singing bowl, they usually have an overtone. So what happens is there's a two different sounds. Um, it creates the the resonate resonance. Mm -hmm. So that resonance really helps us. Like uh, for example, like the uh, like the brain entrainment, they use like a a, a binaural beat. Yes. There's Yes. <laughs> different, different, uh, you know, timings, mm -hmm. and it creates that resonance for the field. Mm -hmm. So that really helps us to for brain to kind of like balances out. Yes. So sound us. Uh, I, I also use a tool called a, tu uh, a tuning fork. Oh, yeah. So there's like a two two rods, mm -hmm. and uh, I use one and then two towards the ear. And actually, I do have it, so I can show this to you. I brought oh, some. Oh, wonderful! Of, <laughs> yeah, it's really, of, it's really powerful. A bunch of uh, stuff. Uh, so with two, you can actually induce a binaural beat, right? Yes, it's almost like that concept is to kind of creating the almost like a binar binaural setup yeah. because the brain has the left and right brain, uh -huh. and it works simultaneously, right? We have like the our bio rhythm, cascadian rhythm, they, they go. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you're familiar with the neuro linguistic programming, the NLP. NLP yes. Yeah, so sometimes we memor memorize things from the left or the right, and it just goes in different, you know, throughout the day, it switches off. Nice. Yeah, so we have to, to tap into both memories from brain, left and brain to recall the past trauma uh -huh. and kind of give. You know, release it. You know, through the you know techniques of mm -hmm. NLP, and then reprogram the positive using all the sensories. So we're tapping to different sensories to kind of reprogram, so that we can able to eliminate you know uh, phobias and all kinds of stuff. So this is called tuning fork, and these wow. are uh, yeah, exactly. yeah. If you see it. <laughs> So I use this for my Reiki healing. Um, I, I also incorporate sound healing to my Reiki practices. So these are all uh, specifically uh, tuned for aligned with a certain chakra. So for example, <clears throat> this is for a root chakra. And the root chakra? Root chakra is basically, we have a seven energy centers yes. that oversees like our organs, our you know emotions and so everything is connected to this energy so in the chinese uh, uh um, medicine we talk about the meridians so that each body part has like an energy yes. uh, like a coral yes. that sends signals yes you know so it carries chi right hmm? it carries chi yes chi energy so chi. the energy flows so there's like a you know, parts of the energy meridian so we that's why the acupuncture you stimulate those meridians to heal certain parts of our body or mm -hmm. something that's out of balance. So everything is a concept of energy. The Reiki is also the, the disharmonized, unbalanced energy will bring it back to balance and whole, so that everything starts to flow perfectly. So you're able to uh, um, eliminate, you know, sickness. A body heals itself. Body is constantly regenerating and healing. So I just wanted to uh, put what it sounds like, and you can combine with the, you know, different sound. So we have two, two different sounds. So it creates that uh, um, resonance. Harmonic mm -hmm. resonance. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, harmonic resonance. So those are the powerful. Sounds really good. Yeah, yeah, it does. Powerful tool. Yeah, it just gives you the calm feeling when you're listening to meditation yes, music or vinyl beats and. Um, yeah, you'll definitely feel it. So that's why I think it's Very the future. Impressive.
is the medicine is the sound. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's doubt. just the balancing out. So it's interesting how modern medicine, I'm not you know, discounting the modern medicine is all bad. It it does the purpose, you know, like the painkiller and it just so we need certain things to just to get through our day. Yes. But it's not perfect, right? There's a side effect in the long term. It might, you know, cause another problem. And dependency. Is what you have to yeah. The dependency, yeah. yeah. Not being but these are natural, holistic elements don't have side effects. No. Yeah. It's it's not harmful. And it's just it, it's already there from from given by nature and it was just there from the ancient times, right? So it's, it's kind nice. of like a resurfacing now. Yes. Yes. You, know, you right talked now. about that. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Like we began the conversation. <laughs> yeah. Entering the stage. Yeah. So this one also we use a like a singing bowl. This is like a Tibetan singing bowl. So these are also designed to produce certain frequency that's this is specifically for healing. So it helps you to like calm and so if you listen to it, there's a almost like a two different sound. You see the higher notes and the lower notes. Can you hear the difference? Yeah. Two red notes. Yeah. Yes. And there's also a tribal tribal groups in uh, uh, um, Mongolia. I think uh, they're, the tribe's called uh, Tubans. And they are known for overtone singing. So they sing in a way that produces two different pitches. pitches. So it's pretty amazing. We've been both practicing because yeah. it's like we sing it like that. It's like whoa, we're like so like. Or you get high, you yourself. Yeah, literally yeah. yeah. like yeah. whoa, it's like we're in a different dimension. Yeah. <laughs> this is one person singing. One person two singing, singing yeah. producing two wow. different notes, and you use your tongue. To kind of like seal the top of your mouth, okay. so the air flows and it's kind of split into different sounds, but it creates the perfect pitch harmony. So, have you noticed when you listen to someone singing off key and makes you feel like, ugh, mm -hmm. want to throw up or something? Mm -hmm. It's so off key. It's bad. Yeah. So that's what's happening. If you're off balance, it's like it doesn't feel good. Yeah. So when it's perfect harmony, it really help us to lift our spirit and also really energize us and feel good you know so um yeah now in your practice do you use more of those type of singing bells mm -hmm. bowls, yeah we have, yeah we have different tools different really? instruments yes we we have all kinds of unseen instruments yeah. and the synthesizer and voice of uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah i'm i'm the singer and 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 Nassim and i are are building we're creating our album Mm -hmm. uh, so we incorporate ancient instruments yes. with some of the modern instruments that, yes. that mm -hmm. exist. Now, how long does a session last? An hour and a half, yeah. usually. An hour and a half, maybe up to two hours, depends on you know how, how we wanted to create that. Yeah. We're also not only sound bath, but we're also trying to come up with like a concert. So, for example, um, People usually go to the nightclubs. We want to reach to those people instead of getting drunk and you know being that environment that yes. is like a whole negative music. It could be like music can be really negative with the negative real lyrics and all oh this my profanity. God. Yeah. <laughs> and I believe that's by design too. Oh exactly. yes. yes, yes, oh yes, yeah, I'm because it that really that. Uh, put an imprint in our subconscious mind. Yeah. You know, violent message or some you know, degrading separation. message. Separation. Of course. It's yes. all separation and haze. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Terrible. we wanted to kind of bring that into that crowd. You can still feel good and be cool and trendy, but mm -hmm. in a healthy way. Right. Yes. You know, Absolutely. So we wanted to kind of create the opportunity for people to like come and mingle and you know, still party, but in a, in a healthy, in a high vibrational way. way. Yeah. No, they'll right. both be. They'll just receive the sound, and yeah, and they'll they'll raise their vibrations right. without needing those toxins, the alcohol, and things yeah. that are that are separating you, right? And, 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 and it'll be a social a social experience as well. Exactly, exactly, because that social experience is what's really important. We're social creatures. Yes, and we wanted to. That's why the festival is so popular now. People want to connect with each other, and in a nature settings and with, with music and. So we also we're interested in you know doing some festivals or attending other festivals. Mm. Um, there's you know so many opportunities and unlimited ways that we can reach out 
you know, so our, our goal is to really make this a mainstream that, you know, bringing the sound healing into the mainstream. Yeah, nice. and an international light yeah. field. Now, you're familiar with meridians. You know where the meridians are? Yes, energy meridians. Yeah, I don't know exactly all the old parts because there's like uh, hundreds of, you know. Oh, meridians. yes, yes. They're, they're very intricate, you know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. I've uh, done a little bit of um, acupuncture. Hold on, I've got something to show you. Yes, <laughs> you want to see it. This is something that we do here at the Biomed Rx wow. Health Center. It's a meridian energy panel. Oh, wow. Gosh, that's incredible. I think I came across that one. Like, I saw it. I wanted to try it. Here, by all means. Wow, how do you how do you use this? Can you show us like a dimension? Sure. <laughs> it is a little moist. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's, it's tingling me while I do it. And my heart meridian is what I like to do. Okay. So I'm going to touch it right here. Oh yeah. And if I were to, oh yeah, you can see my hands are trying to reach this one. You have to feel until you find. Is it sending you like an electronic pulse? Oh, yes. It's sending a pulse. Wow. I'll, I'll show you. So this is like a needless acupuncture. Needless acupuncture, yes. That's amazing. Look at that in my hand. Oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah. You're nervous responding to yeah. that. Yeah, I'm not moving my finger. It's being moved by the pulse. Wow. Want to try? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you put it here. Well, there's a number of meridians that shows in the book that you can find. Uh, depends on what you're looking for. Oh, Bladder, I see. yeah. Uh -huh. The heart. You see, I was sitting here. Oh, okay. okay. What's that? What, what I think the liver is good because our liver is always bombarded with a bunch of toxins. Absolutely. <laughs> All of us eat healthy, but what we're breathing and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the heavy metals as we talked about. Yeah. Literally. The chemtrails. I don't mind saying it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's true. Sprayed. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many uh, pressure points. Well, I should test it. Okay. Yeah, we can't, oh, we can't right hide there. the facts anymore. You know, no. We can't just sit here. Oh, it's on foot. Okay, I can't do it. We, we have to there. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, you have boots on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do the heart. Yeah, okay, I'll do the heart. I'll so, I think it was here. Yeah, I think I think I should have gone to the outside, right? Or more on the radius. I was right on the ulnar. Yeah. So you press? Yep, we have it on the number now. Uh -huh. Right, yeah. And just try to find it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is too shocking. I think that was like all the way to the no, in no, like no, intensity. No. Like high intensity. <laughs> it's all the way oh up my god, that's too shocking for me. How about one? Try it on one. Yeah. Even though one yeah, is pretty intense. She's scared. Up. I'm not scared. Oh my God, so scary. Whoa. Ooh, it's I'm really scared. sensitive. I'm really sensitive. I'm still shocked. I think I'm very sensitive. Maybe like I don't need anything on my heart. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty powerful, huh? It and that's is. on one, it's isn't powerful. it? Hey, what, what do you have it on? I have it on five. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm kind of a I'm big very guy. Sensitive. But this is very powerful. It's intense. I think, does it work for like a shoulder ache and stuff? Oh, big time. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I actually I get a good, if I put it back here. Yeah, I get a, I get a really good, uh, yeah. really good relaxation across the trapezius. Mm. Did you come up? Is this your product? No, no, no. This isn't. This is a product that I purchased to help my biomagnetic pair therapy clients. I see. Oh, oh okay. We're going to have to take a break uh, to change batteries, and uh, I guess this is a good time for us to put a commercial or two uh, in uh, in the program. And uh, we're going to be back after these messages. Thank you. It's funny that, that that new battery doesn't last as long as the old battery does. Oh. But you had to restart it, right? Mm -hmm. Twice. How many times? Twice. 
twice. Mm -hmm. So we're going to dump and change the battery. Okay. Cool. cool. We'll be right back. Everybody, let's see what's happening on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Facebook is still on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> We've got quite a few people liking it. Awesome. Yeah. And quite a few people viewing too. <laughs> oh, oh no, that's a uh, heat. Oh, the battery did too? Okay. So it's like, hey, I'm full, I'm dead, and I'm hot. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm just going to a little. So the thing, what is the name of your uh, Facebook uh, page? Oh, my uh, personal Facebook page. Is it personal or the mm -hmm. oh, personal you right? to share the video. Oh, it's a uh, 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 vegan breed. Oh, wow.
Yeah, you need to. Um, I have the Kindle version. Mm -hmm. As soon as I'm done, read it. I have this one at home, which I wrote this one. I already have this one at home, so I can read it. Oh, yeah. No, but I was saying read the book. Oh, the read the actual book. Yeah, it comes with the actual book. Dead skin cells. That's what oh, dead eating. skin cells. That's what they're eating. Ew, it's kind of gross. <laughs> it is. I always felt bad. I didn't feel bad eating the fish, but I think they like it. That's what they eat. Yeah. That's so strange. Mm -hmm. they, they wouldn't be alive. Yeah. Wow. I mean, yeah, like the ocean, they always have the garbage eaters, right? The one in the ocean flows. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Floor. Because, yeah, some animals are meant to like, eat like, the garbage, you know. They eat everything, like right. decay, like pig, pigs. They're like basically like a cockroach. They can eat decayed animals or right. animal species. You know, that's why I don't understand why do people like to eat pork. But what's so toxic for you? The, the what do they call them? The something dwellers? The, the bottom feeders. Oh, bottom, yeah. That's what yeah. they're called. Yeah. yeah. People like pork because it smells good, but. What, 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 what is, is that? Love fatty. Yeah, what they is, love the texture of fatty, and it's cheap. Also, cheaper than any meat, right? It's like a, especially in the Asian countries, they love that fat. That's the, the first meat texture. that I said goodbye to. Yeah, it's the meat that I love the most. Oh, I love ham. Yeah, I still smell it and love, and love it. Yeah, but it's it. I I had I said. Once you no learn more. about meat, too, once you learn about what it is actually, and then learn about oh, I didn't know pig eat their own feces. I didn't know <laughs> pig eats any decaying animals. Really, everything. 
yeah, they'll eat another person. What's that? They'll eat a person. Yeah, they, they will eat the human being. Yeah. There was a, I, there was an incident. Some guy fell into this like a oh, mud yeah. species of pork, uh, the, the pig farm or whatever, mm -hmm. and they start attacking him. Have they you, thought it was food. Have you ever read uh, John Sinclair's The Jungle? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's based off of the meat factory and the slaughterhouses. Oh, oh God, no. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. I watched enough yeah. films, but yeah. it's good to educate book. yourself. It's, yeah, mm -hmm. they would just eat everything and anything. So like, oh, wow. And that, after I learned that, I can't never eat no. it. For me, it was yeah. the violence. I couldn't participate in the violence anymore. Mm -hmm. Traffic kills and yeah, just a little bit of everything. Yeah, but, yeah. it's just the, the bad. In, you know, karma and, and energy and, and you're eating death and that's just death but the fear mm -hmm. these poor animals have to endure yeah can you imagine those yeah. are the, some of them are bold or alive the, the past scene oh no I've, I've, seen all the, I've seen all the horrific like the PETA movies i've mm -hmm. seen it all but it's just the energetic that that the what holds that it was alive but then they, they were raised for a factory like a factory yeah, farm like it's not in nature so they're in a constant torment, right? Mm -hmm. In a small place or dark place without the light or constantly in fear. So they're, they're always sick because when you're in fear, your body becomes weak, like the mm -hmm. immunity go down. So they have to give you hormones just to keep you alive. So chemical, the amount of chemical that the meat is exposed mm -hmm. and also the energy of the animal constantly fear. And so they're releasing that chemical from their brain. It goes entire body so that we're, when we ingest, we're also ingesting their energy. Mm -hmm. Fear and the stress. Yeah, fear exactly. and the stress. And that manifests because DNA travels, it holds the memory. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I think that's also affecting our consciousness, really, you know, purifying ourselves and, and expand is to purify our temple, eat the high vibrational food like the sun, the beautiful fruits, and then. You know something that falls from the tree that we don't have to destroy anything mm -hmm. something is given that's the most potent like a nutritious food right right from the sun we pick it from the tree mm -hmm. not have to slaughter animal against their will yeah. you know it might work for a certain time like ice age or whatever you know <laughs> but, but it's not meant for us to do it forever no and too much of that and that's what's causing a lot of this harm like if you're in a jungle and, and survival yes yeah, survival that's what, like if i'm killing the animal myself that's what i said if I'll, I'll only eat meat again if i actually kill the animal myself hmm. if you if you have nothing else like you're in a survival mode right well yeah like i'm in the amazon and, that, and that's that we're living off the land and so we need to eat although the future of food is is insects yeah. i don't think i can kill any animal i'm like such a wimp <laughs> i might eat the mud <laughs> Well, just eat the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but you, you know, like if you have to, you, I'm sure you in survival. We are mammals at the end of the day. We right? don't know how it, how how we feel at the really like I'm not eating moment. for like 40 days or something. You know, like how our mind. I don't miss it. Alters are actually. I don't miss meat. Yeah. Do you? Huh? Do you miss meat? No. You don't meat. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't miss it though, either, because you have so much other stuff. That yeah, so back. much other stuff, yeah. and then you know I'm able to. You know, I think it. once you get it out of your system, then you don't miss it. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah. far memory. It's a far memory, yeah. Yeah. And then, then the smell doesn't even give you a reaction. No, it doesn't. Oftentimes, it's but the opposite. It, it grosses you out, like yeah. watching it, like the the meat deli in the store. Oh gosh. Yeah. 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 Sometimes the smoke that or the the sm smell of the fish, burning fish, like fishy smell, like well, uh, now I'm more sensitive because I cleanse. Yeah. So my nose is so sensitive to that all the odors. Like completely raw vegan. I'm trying to go there. I really wish I could. I, I mean, I know I can. It's just yeah. a matter of arranging my life in a way that. Yeah, it's it's, I have it's a lifestyle, so you want it to do gradually because yeah. if you do it too sudden, your body's not ready for it. You know, it, it becomes. You have a like a reaction, you know, really? like a detox symptom. You have a headache, slow, like a Herxheimer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you have to do it slow, and then you know, you know, everybody's different in their progress. You know what works for them. You need the to listen to your own body. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we, 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 we can stay on. We can stay on Facebook. You know, and keep the conversation going. <laughs> I can do 
I'm going to get that ring one. This is really cool. You can put uh, your phone like right in the middle. Oh, yeah. And then it's, it's so, so perfect for your video. Yeah, let's definitely get that on copper light. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I like that ring one versus these ones, the softer one. Yeah, but it has a good setup here. I miss those days, man. Like pushing the basket, pushing the baby. Oh, <laughs> we do. Oh my God, I, I would with my son. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, is forgiving the person that hurt me the most, that betrayed me, um, wow. my, you know, the perpetrator, um, in terms of the, the incest, yes. um, and being able to go there and communicate with this individual and face to face say, I genuinely forgive you, mm-hmm. and go on that journey. And it was a lot of it was the breath, the breath work. So, like I said earlier, it's the tools that we have within. And that liberation that I felt afterwards, I felt like on fire. I was capable of anything, wow. you know. Incredible. So it's that that's the kind of opportunities we want to give people to mm-hmm. elevate to the highest point, to the highest degree in order to, to catapult and to make their dreams come true. Yes. You know, yeah. All their, their yeah. visions. Because we're yes. capable of anything. I we want everyone to be at their highest point and to be mm-hmm. self-realized because that's what we're here to do. Exactly. Paradise is here. This exactly. is paradise. You know? Yeah, exactly. And that's why I'm really that. especially excited about our retreat that we're planning to do uh, in Colombia cool. and also in here in California or you know maybe in um, Sedona, Sedona, Arizona, someplace you know in the West Coast as yeah. well. The vortex. Um, we're the vortex that, the yeah. Vortex. <laughs> I can't wait to visit Sedona. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. amazing. It so we're creating that experience, and we we have an opportunity to also educate people, you know, uh, about, you know, not us what we do, but other holistic healing like energy healing, nutrition, sound healing, learning new language skills. What that does to our self-esteem and confidence and mental and spiritual health. So we're kind of packaging it together, and of course we do different fun ex- excursion, nature excursion, and you know different uh, um, uh, like we'll, we'll do live music shows. You know a lot of entertainment as well. So mm-hmm. elixir of life. It's called yeah, elixir, it's called elixir okay. of life. Teaching Spanish, yeah. we'll be going on uh, excursions and mm-hmm. doing rituals with the with kogis. With the people that live in the Sierra Nevada visiting Plato National Park. So the Kogis are uh, the native, tribe, indigenous, native, yeah. indigenous people who live on the, the Sierra Nevada and wow. bless the park. They actually shut down the park for an entire month and bless Tairona, which Tairona National Park is the equivalent of like Yosemite. It's okay. like Yosemite of Colombia. Um, so they make sure that the land is, is intact. And, and they work uh, well with a lot of with with the citizens and the citizens so support them. So we, me as a Colombian citizen, I want to be able to give back and to support them and everything that they're doing and to, do, to learn from them as well. Right. You know, to be educated yes. and to unite, which is yeah. I think one of the most important things for us to all remember is that we need we need to unite as, as citizens yeah. of the world. They're the messengers for us to give back to coexist with the nature to be in harmony. So they have a lot to offer us you know their wisdom how how they use work with the nature because survival of the fittest yeah. doesn't exist exactly no. everything See, a lot of the uh, native uh, americans or mayans know we're coming to this place that's really at the edge of really really gonna stay on the self-destructive path or we're gonna create to heal the planet heal ourselves and heal the planet mm-hmm. we are right at the you know Precipice. the Verge. Yes. So we need to really help people educate and raise their vibration and awareness, so mm-hmm. we can really shift on this direction, not the self-destructive. Of course. Yeah, yeah, that's why I think it's so important that we come together, the yes, like-minded yes. people, and we just you like share us. and ed- keep educating and empowering each other. Absolutely, keep mm-hmm. spreading, keep spreading the good vibration. The love. Exactly. The love. It's yeah. all about high vibration. <laughs> yeah, it's it's imperative. You know, I personally feel a responsibility. I, I know that I have to do this. Oh, and, absolutely. You know, yeah. I, it's great when right. you find your vocation. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was educated in Catholic school when I was a kid, and you know, the priests and the nuns would explain to us the difference between a job and a vocation. Mm-hmm. You know, and a, a way of life, something that you commit your life to, and it's not just about dollars and cents. And right. Mm-hmm. Work, you know, nine to five. It's something right. that, that that you live all day. And, Exactly. Well, yeah. Sleep in and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I know exactly how I feel. Like I used to have a jobs. You know, work at the boring administrative work at the bank, or work at the car insurance company, or you know. Um, I mean, jobs are important. You know, to if you have other goal to get to where you need to go, we all need yes. to do something. But to you know, get to where we need to go, so there's a process of learning about. Also teaches us discipline. Yes. Learn about working for others. What that means, but also 
from coming from that just to like settle there and just to, as a survival to actually use our gifts and talents, create something that serves the world. Yes. And in order to do that fearlessly, and once you start doing that, I know the universe will support. It will start to bring in the abundance and finances need, needed to. Yes. So, okay. yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I personally went through experience of like, oh, I need the job to pay bills. I can never quit this job. Mm -hmm. I need it. Like, although I have my dream career, I even dream the mission I wanted to do because it's always about the finances, always about this. You were operating from a, a, a place of scarcity. And yeah, lack. scarcity yes. and lack. It's holding you back. Mm -hmm. So once we, like, okay, I'm, I'm, just, I'm done. I'm, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to be slave like to, to the system and just like just be a number mm -hmm. you know i i'm here to really carry out my mission really live what i'm came here to do once you become clear with your purpose and mm -hmm. purpose and you take courage so the, the the key is to take courage you have to take that step right mm -hmm. it's yes. scary for yourself that's yourself why people yourself. stop dreaming because they're afraid but once you take that you know uh that leap take, take that yeah quantum leap yes the things will start the path new pathway will open yes yeah so that's where i i feel with this what we're doing here is like really start opening up the door for us start the, the path is becoming more clear and clear mm -hmm. and meeting the right people like you and yeah. more opportunities coming and so we're really excited we're, we know oh this is the right path Absolutely. So we're going to take a short break just to do a battery change. And uh, is it already just die or? So, okay, great, great. And, uh, and we'll be back after these messages. So we've done good. I know you guys probably have stuff to do today, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have to How long is this show? Like an hour? Yeah. An hour. Oh, okay. So we have a lot of footage. I can just chop oh, it up. Oh, so you're editing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great, great. That's why I say after these messages, I'm going to take a commercial in there. Oh, yeah. 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 So do you have some gold trying to get off of it? Oh, let me see. No. Let me take it off of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 We, we, we covered on okay. Okay. okay, so yeah. we, we wrap it up. Yeah, we covered everything. Yeah, yeah. we had yeah. 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 it. It was wonderful, actually. Yeah. Yeah, my son wants to go to E3, so I'm going to take him to E3. Oh, I was working on a video game that, that, that just premiered at E3. Really? Just ca cause. Just cause. Yeah. Just cause. Four. Yeah. I was actually um, working with the actors, teaching them the Colombian accent. Really? So I was at, in, in Colombia. Okay. Right. So yeah, I think it's a three day event. So. Yeah, it's here. Not, uh, yeah, it's yeah, check out check, check out JC four. JC four. Yeah. Okay. No, I like it. Just cause. No, no, you gotta collapse that. Uh, fold the round thing. Pick it up. What? F fold the handle down. On this? No, no, the thing that just twisted. Oh, okay. Yeah, just make sure it's folded down. Yes, yeah. Yeah. It should still be in focus, okay. right? That's fine. Okay. It's completely out of focus. Okay. I still feel it. Did you feel it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's oh I love work. it. Yeah. yeah. I feel so calm. I know I feel really calm. I was yeah, feeling happy. Now I feel calm. So it wasn't on. I think I have. I think I'm naturally a little bit more. So going oh, on. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. it wasn't that much tea. Mm. Mm. It's hot. I sure it was. I think my personality. Yeah. I think I'm better. Yeah. Hi. I think you're a little bit more calm than I am. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like high energy all the time almost. So we're on? Mm -hmm. I just got one back. All right, so we're back here uh, with Biomed RX Radio and Biomed RX Television. And um, I think we're about to wrap up, right? Yeah, it was we wonderful. Had a, had a very yeah. good show. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for very much for coming. Thank you so much. Yeah. It was it's wonderful nice. meeting and connecting with you guys. And um, I'm, gonna, I'm looking forward to your events yes. and having you guys work here at the Biomed RX Health Center yes, with me. Good so that we can do some of your events here. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. yeah, we can. Nighty night and, and presentations. And Maybe next time you can bring some of your uh, more bells and... Yeah, we can we do can a sound totally bath. do our sound bath. You know, sound bath and healing here yeah. and broadcast it. And broadcast it Yes, well. yeah. yeah. So we'd love to do that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for, for having us. It was a Thank wonderful you. experience. You're, you. you're doing beautiful work in the world. So yes. Thank I you. And so are you. Namaste. Now, one more time, let's get your URLs yes. and the phone number, right? Just some. Yeah, you can uh, reach me. Um, so my name, once again, is Andrea Science. This is beautiful. Nice to see you. And our, our website is healingsoundalchemy.com. And my personal website is andreapscience.com. Nassimarakami.com and also make sure to follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash healingsoundalchemy. And you can just send us direct messages there um, and, and just uh, on, on our Facebook uh, and our, on our website, there's a contact uh, information page as well. So you can direct us, uh, send a direct message as well there. So we look forward uh, to working with all of you and stay tuned for our events, our Let's Serve Life retreats in Colombia and our, our um, concerts as well. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful yeah. day. Thank you. This Thank was you. Wonderful. So that was wonderful. We had so Such much fun. I <laughs> know you guys want to go, but you want to try? Yeah, let's try it. I would love to try. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you so much. Deborah. Deborah, thank you. Deborah, thank you. Yes, Deborah, thank you very much. No problem. I love these beads. I've been looking for beads like this. I have Oh, yeah, 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 really? Yeah. I've been looking for beads like this. Oh, three. So go off. That's the, okay, I'll do it again. So this is the Mindalize data. It is way in trainment. And this is where we do the little feedback. So you can try one here and one there. Okay. Yes, you will love it. And we have different settings. Um, in fact, I'm going to let you choose this one today. So,
anything that you like next time. Thank you. 